Well, I'm in the garden and uh, it's lovely and warm here at the front. It's very quiet at the moment, so I better not say anything because uh, we'll have noise every minute. I just wanted to, oh, that's the little gate shut in there. What I wanted to do was just pan you round and uh, just show you the garden in all its spring glory. It is a spring garden here because uh, we have lovely springs in, usually anyway, in England and it's the summers that are, you know, that are, are usually, well, they're never warm, occasionally. So uh, we like to get out into the garden in the spring. There's that cherry tree now. And uh, the standard roses. Take you round. Full of life, full of buzzers. This is one of my favourite tulips. If I just start to back up here, and it's this type. They're absolutely lovely. Right, now we're going to go into the side garden. This is the tree peony. And we've already got them actually open. Look at that. Beautiful they are. Absolutely lovely. So if I can go through this little side entrance here. And then I shall take you this way. That's one of the ferns that's un unfurling its leaves quite like ferns. I've put the uh, cymbidiums here and uh, we've just potted up these troughs. They've, they've got uh, begonias in the middle and these will have to be covered with fleece at night time. It's uh, too cold because this is on the east side here, the east side of the garden. And the cymbidiums I've put here because the last couple of nights it did give it a bit chilly. That's a lavender. There's some more unfurling. And uh, this is the one that we've had potted up about a week and a half now. And what I wanted to do is bring you to the auriculas. Um, I've got some more auriculas coming, but there. This is a double one. It's lovely. Oh, I've got a little a spade there that's uh, fell out. There we go, there's another one. That's all potted up now. And uh, keeps in the garden over there, looking at what we need. And uh, these are the dahlias. They're all shooting now. And I wanted just to take to this auriculus, to the auriculus on this wall here. Look at them. That one's opened. That's a green variety. 
think that's a little double like we've got on the I've just shown you. Look at the potatoes. And uh, this is another variety. Those pots are all potted up now. And uh, that's the wall with the auriculars on. So I'm going to pan you over here now. Oops, which way is he going? <laughs> I won't tell you what he just did then. He's put some more decorative gravel down here. That's why it looks uh, two different colours. And that little azalea, if you remember, I got it last year from the uh, garden centre for 99p and I thought it was a white one. Well, look at that. It's not white at all. It's a pink one. So she definitely got the wrong label. Well, never mind. We don't mind. So let's take you around this way. That's key. That ace is lovely. There we go. We call this elephant ears. It has a lovely bloom on it. There's the pond. Oh dear. That was a big crow. This little old breach is lovely. Just loves it there. Some of the spring bulbs are going over now. And uh, there's the rhododendron on that back fence. Whether I can just step on the garden just to show you how nice she is. And that ace is fully out here. So we've got the, the rhododendron behind matching the colours, and then we've got this lovely pink camellia. And I told you they always face the wrong way. This is a load. Look at those. A little ladybird on there as well. This is the uh, one of the aces. is called. This is called Margaret. And <clears throat> Keith's trying to train them as pom poms. So we cut them last year, and the shape's coming already. That's going over now, that one. And this is the other clematis that grows out from that white one. So this weekend, I'll have to come out and stake them to those posts. That camellia there is a white one, but it doesn't look as though it's going to have any buds on this year. And I have no idea why. These are little primulas. So if I back up round here, that's the pond of course. Oh, look at those tadpoles. Look at them. Loads of them. And we're back round here. Peonies there. Forget me nuts. Eight forget me nuts. <laughs> Keith laughs at me. That's one of the first things I pull out. Forget me nuts. They seed everywhere. A little primula there. Same as here those there. So I'm back at the back door now and uh, as you can see the sun's gone in but never mind. 
we'll be out again tomorrow. So take care. Bye-bye.